What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is uh, Significant Events in 96 as the world turns for the sign of Taurus. This is one of my newest series. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter, Chart. So, for the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it does not apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I uh, heard one channel message as I was meditating on your energy. I heard a Taurus is about to ask someone to marry them, is what I heard. So, congrats to whoever that's for, Taurus. You go with your bad self, whoever you are, and however that resonates and applies in your life. A Taurus is about to ask someone to marry them. So, whoever you are and however that applies in one's life, Taurus, congratulations. I feel you might be a man, uh, a masculine, or a femme that takes on heavy masculine, and you're about to take the reins. However, that resonates in your own life, Taurus. You could have Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter, charts. But whether you're a dude or a dudette, you're about to do the thing. I'll tell you that. Um, like I said, this is a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, this is a, a free general reading, so it's for millions and billions of people in the world. So, um, you know, you only you are the master of your own ma manifest or your own destiny so you it's important for you to only take the messages that resonate one may apply two plus may apply none may apply okay just saying just saying if you think anyone else would uh like my channel or benefit from the messages please feel free to share my um, videos on your social media and word of mouth i'd very much appreciate it the Hermit Reverse, Nine of Cups Reverse, Eight of Pentacles Upright, King of Wands Reverse, Knight of Swords Upright, The Sun Upright. Um, I heard one of you guys was about to ask someone to marry you. So, like I said, you, Taurus, you're about to take the reins there if that resonates for you. A Taurus has really, really, really been working on their drinking a lot and been saving money, a lot of it, getting their life together. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Taurus. This is looking good so far. So one of you guys, um, you've been not drinking as much. So I think you might have been an alcoholic in the past because we have nine of cups reversed. Upright is part of two hard card alcohol, drugs, sex, gambling, what have you, but it's in this aspect, it's drinking, if this resonates for you. I think you might have been an alcoholic or borderline alcoholic in the past, but it sounds like you put the bottle down or bottles down and you have really cut back a lot or you've cut, or you've cut it off, period. Um, I heard you've saved a lot of money. So eight of pentacles upright, you're saving the money, honey. Um, that's a lot of money you've been saving on Jim or Jack or Jose or whoever there. Um, and then the hermit reversed. Um, I don't think you have been, I think you just did it. You just went for it. You just impulsively just did it, which that's a wonderful thing to impulsively do. Um, I think you might've cold turkeyed it for some of you guys. That's exactly what I think. But honey, you were saving a ton of freaking money doing it. It's like saving a lot of money with Geico energy. Just saying, just saying. For some, you could be dealing with Virgo because it's Virgo energy. If you are, they could have Virgos in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Uh, for one of you guys, I feel maybe your drinking partner might have been a Virgo. I didn't hear that, but I feel it might be for some of you guys that your drinking partner might have been a Virgo and maybe they were pressuring you to, um, hey, buddy, let's go have a drink. Let's go blah, 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 blah. Let's go to the bar. Blah, 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 blah. But you've been holding back and pulling back and it's been saving you money and your health that's exactly what i feel if it's not a virgo it could be somebody else but i definitely feel there was peer pressure there from either one person or two plus people however that resonates king of wands reversed knight of swords upright the sun upright One 
particular person, a Vir um, not a Virgo, I'm sorry, a Taurus is extremely interested in is noticing they are, this person is not allowing any suitors around. It's really making them happy. Because they know this person could have practically anyone they wanted in their area. Oh, my Lord. Wow, man. So you go with your bad self, Taurus. Um, I mean, I just hope this isn't an obsessive energy. I just want to throw that out there. I hope you're not obsessed with this person um, if this resonates for you. I heard you know this person could have um, anybody they wanted in their area, basically. If they basically put the desire, drive, and motivation and the sex moves on, well, they might not even have to put the sex moves on them. Um, maybe it's their personality. Maybe it's their body. Maybe it's a combination of their personality, but their body. Maybe they have money. I don't know. But there's a reason that you know, you know intuitively that they can have anybody they wanted in their area, I heard. Um, this person. Anybody. I heard anybody. They could have anybody if they put effort into going out and pursuing person or people or what have you in their area or their community or what have you. But I heard basically they're not. They're not pursuing anybody in their area, nor are they allowing anyone to come in there and pursue them. So King of Wands reversed. No desire, no drive, no motivation. This person, whoever, for some, it might be the person you're about to ask to marry you. Um, but um, what I don't, I don't, but I don't think you're in a relationship with this person, to be honest. I don't think you're in a relationship, because I heard it's making you happy. I don't think you're in a relationship with this person. So, I don't, no, I don't think that message applies for you, because the one that you're about to, the Taurus that's about to ask somebody to marry them, I feel you're in a relationship with this person, um, whoever that's for. You're in, currently in a relationship with whoever you're about to ask to marry you, obviously. Um, because, you know, if it was this situation and... This person is single. This person is single as a Pringle. So, I mean, you're not going to roll up at somebody's doorstep, single as a Pringle, and be like, hey, will you marry me? That's weird as hell. Just saying, just saying. So, um, whoever that message is for, a Taurus is about to ask somebody to marry them. Obviously, you are currently in a relationship status with that person. I'm um, just saying. But this person, is, I'm feeling single as a Pringle. The single as a Pringle, I heard, you know, they could have anybody in their community. Um, if they put some desire, drive, and motivation into it, basically, but they're not. They're not, and so much so, they're not allowing anybody to come near them to put desire, drive, and motivation in for them. They don't want it. They don't want it. I heard it's making you happy. So I think you might live at a distance from them, uh, for some of you guys. I feel you might live at a distance from them, um, and I think you've been watching them in some shape, form, or fashion. Hopefully not in a creepy, stalkery way. Um, hopefully not. Um, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Hopefully not in a creepy, stalky way, but you have definitely been watching them. So much so that you know they're not allowing anybody around them in their energetic space to court them, to date them. And apparently they can have anybody the damn want, and you know it. So this is them blocking, um, blocking the suitor energy. Um, wow. King, um, not a sword's upright. Truth, honesty, and clarity on the situation. You're gaining truth, honesty, and clarity on the situation that they have been blocking peeps away from them. They don't want the people in their community. They don't want the people in their area. And they can, whoever this person is, they can have anybody they want in their area. And it makes you very, very happy. I don't think you live in their area. I truly don't. I don't think you live in their area. I really don't. Whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. But it makes you happy as hell that they, that they don't want these people in their area. That's exactly um, the energy I'm feeling here. For some, it could be a Leo you're dealing with, possibly because we have the Sun card, if um, or not. But if it is, they could have Leo and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Hand, Ridge of your charts. So if that resonates for you, Taurus. But whoever, whether it's a Leo or not, it's making you happy as hell. I'll tell you that, happy as hell. I just hope that you do right by this person. Um, and if you don't want this person and you're not going to do right by them, just let them be. You know, and let them live their life happily, you know, because everybody deserves to live life in a happy, copacetic way, uh, with or without somebody. And that's just the truth. And apparently they don't want nobody in their community. Um, I don't feel you live in their community, but if it's not you they want, you should let them live happily and free. Uh, maybe, for, I think for some of these people, they don't even know that you want them, um, if that resonates. I don't, I think you've been stubborn as hell, and I don't, I don't think you've said shit. Is exactly what I think. 
It's that kind of other thing. But you plug it in how it resonates. There has to be give and take here. There has to be. Know this. For the one that doesn't want anyone in their community. Okay, I heard there has to be give and take here. There has to be for the one that doesn't want anyone in their community. So for the Taurus that is basically the one, whoever you are, where this person doesn't want anybody in their community romantically. And I, I don't feel you live in their community. I'm just reiterating that, okay? Um, I think you've been watching them in some shape, form, or fashion. But you know they have not been allowing anybody to date them, court them, Take them out, blase, blase, blase. But I heard there has to be equal give and take there. Know this. So I don't, for whoever this is feel, uh, this is for, I feel you don't live in their community for sure, for sure. But just know if you try to pursue this person, there has to be equal give and take there. There has to be. And I think this person knows that. And that's probably why they have been rejecting love offers on the romantical scale in their community. Because these people probably are not um, up to par with what their standards are for dating and uh, romanticism and copacetic relationships is exactly what I'm feeling here. Um, if one of you guys needs to hear that, Doris, okay? This person deserves a lot, and you know it. They deserve everything, they de positive, positive things in the universe. They have put out a lot of positive in the universe. If you are not able to provide this or want to provide this, it'd be smart to move on. Oh, my Lord. I heard this person um, deserves everything positive in the universe. They put out nothing but positive in the universe. And they deserve basically nothing but positive back. So I heard if you're not able or wanting to put that out to this person, basically be smart to move on. So that's at least for one of you guys out in the universe. You plug it in, how it resonates. I mean, whoever you are and how this applies in your life and whoever this person is, I don't feel they live in your community. I'll tell you that. But they sure have been thwarting off other people in, the, in their community in the dating and romanticism department. That's for Dag, I'm sure. All right. I love you guys. I hope this helped. Namaste.